Intel announced Thunderbolt 4 at CES 2020 and the Tiger Lake mobile processors will be the first processors to support Intel's new Thunderbolt standard. Thunderbolt 4 will debut at some point in 2020 and will offer fast connectivity and other technological improvements like native Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 support. Since the announcement of the Thunderbolt 4, there have been a lot of questions about how this new generation of ports will compare to its predecessors and other upcoming standards like used before. There is also the issue of Apple as they recently announced their shift from Intel to their in-house ARM-based processors. In this video, we'll talk about everything we know so far about the Thunderbolt 4 and what will happen to Apple as they jumped ship. Hey everyone, I'm Chaser and you're watching Tech Square. Thunderbolt is the brand of the hardware interface developed by Intel in collaboration with Apple which allows the connection of external peripherals to a computer. Thunderbolt combines PCI Express and DisplayPort into two serial signals and is also capable of providing DC power through one cable. First two generation of Thunderbolt technology used the same connector as the mini display port and was first adopted by Apple with their 2011 MacBook Pro notebook computers. From Thunderbolt 3, Intel has been using USB-C connector. Thunderbolt supports up to six peripherals by one connector through various topologies. Intel introduced the Thunderbolt platform at a time when USB 3.0 was all the rage and could transfer data at speeds up to 5 gigabit per second. Intel's Thunderbolt 3 was able to transfer data at speeds up to 40 gigabit per second, claiming its superiority over USB standard. Thunderbolt 4 is successor to the previous Thunderbolt 3 and is expected to arrive on devices in 2020 and should be adopted widely across the computer industry. Thunderbolt 3 allowed for connection speeds up to 40 gigabit per second, which is double the speed of the previous USB 3.1 and DisplayPort 1.2 generation. It also offers USB speeds up to 10 gigabit per second and it can connect a single 4K display at 120Hz or a 5K display at 60Hz. Meanwhile, Thunderbolt 4 supports the same speed of 40 gigabit per second but now with cables up to 2 meter in length. Besides, it supports two 4K displays instead of one or one 8K display and supports up to 100 watt power delivery to charge your devices. Intel also claimed that the new Thunderbolt 4 offers DMA protection against Thunder Spy attacks which was missing in the previous generation of Thunderbolt 3 port. Meanwhile, USB IF has also announced USB 4. To compare both standards, all there is to say is that Thunderbolt 4 is everything USB 4 is and more with minimum requirements set for the manufacturers to maintain to get the certification from Intel. On the other hand, USB 4 has a lot of features of Thunderbolt 4, but there are options for manufacturers to choose. In a nutshell, Thunderbolt 4 is USB 4 maxed out. Now that we are done with Thunderbolt 4, let's talk about something different yet really close to the issue of Thunderbolt. As I've mentioned earlier, Intel developed Thunderbolt technology in collaboration with Apple. Since the announcement of Thunderbolt, Apple was the company to first adopt the technology and have been including the technology to their devices. All of their MacBook, iMac, and Mac lineup of products include Thunderbolt technology. However, at WWDC 2020, Apple has announced that they will jump an Intel chip and sail away with their ARM-powered processors. Which now brings up the question if future ARM-powered Macs would feature Thunderbolt technology or not. Apple promises to support Thunderbolt on its new ARM Macs. However, even though Apple collaborated with Intel to develop this technology, Intel holds full rights to the Thunderbolt trademark. So things are a bit confusing yet. Anyways, Apple has a few more Intel-powered devices on their second year roadmap, so Thunderbolt in Macs is not going right away. Except for the ones which will come with the ARM SoC. Apple has been the first one to adopt Thunderbolt technology and they replaced previous USB standards in favor of the Thunderbolt 3 ports. Apple has a tight control over the technology used in their products. Once they have settled on a technology and made their consumers used to that technology, it's unlikely for them to change that. Apple also likes to keep similar or complementary technology to all of their devices so that the end user experience doesn't vary too much from one device to another. In that case, since Apple has contributed to that technology and Thunderbolt 4 is actually based on USB 4.0, Apple could still use most of the technology and change certain things that will work with their ARM processors and coin a new marketing term for the technology. This way, Apple will have more control over the technology and they could change things in a way that will allow them to maintain the end user experience across all of the devices, be it new or old. 
However, there could rise potential copyright infringement issue with Intel and both companies could end in court, costing money and resource. Since USB 4 has a lot in common with the Thunderbolt 4, Apple could opt for USB 4. But going this route would mean Apple would not be able to deliver a lot of the things they did before. And Apple isn't a company which is likely to settle for less. So they could ask Intel for permission and unnecessary certification. Recently, Intel has certified an AMD Thunderbolt motherboard made by ASRock. There are plenty of AMD motherboards with Thunderbolt, but they did not have any kind of certification from Intel. However, recently, Intel has blessed ASRock with Thunderbolt certification to their latest motherboard based on AMD's X570 chipset. To get certification from Intel companies, need to make sure to follow the guidelines laid out by Intel and when they do, they can get certification from Intel by paying a one-time license fee. Since Apple is already familiar with the Thunderbolt technology, it won't be too hard for them to follow Intel's guideline. And the one-time license fee should also not be an issue to Apple. However, that will increase unit price of each of the devices. Anyways, there is an ARM-powered Mac slated to release at the end of this year. So for now, we just have to wait for the Apple to see which way they decide to go on. And that's it for our today's video. If you liked the video, then hit like and share with your friends. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos.